right, looks like we're live, everyone. How's it going? Welcome to the live stream. Gonna hang out here for just a second while we wait to make sure that this is working. Good old technology. Once you show up, go ahead and say hey in the comment section so that I know you're here and that I know this is working and that we can go ahead and get started with our live stream session here today with Manuel and Sarah. So let's go ahead and see what's happening. Where's everybody coming in from this morning or this afternoon or this evening, wherever you are in the world? Let's see. There we go. Sarah's here. Sandra's here. Welcome. Good morning. Good afternoon. Umberto, Anna. Excellent. We've got quite a crowd in the house here today. So if you're joining me uh, and you are fans of Sarah and Manuel, then I'm Joni Simon. I'm a food photographer, do commercial food photography, and teach here on YouTube. And I am beyond honored to get to share some airtime today with my friends Sarah and Manuel of Fondos Para Fotografos. So with no further ado, I'm going to pull them right on in. Good morning, you guys. Hi. How are you? Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> How are you doing, Johnny? Oh, my God. Like... So exciting to be here. I know. I know. This is Coming so fun today to has chat. arrived. <laughs> and we have so many fans of yours here hanging out in uh, in the live stream here today. We've got As We Eat and Chris Christopher from NYC. Maria says, Tanti Saluti from Italy. <laughs> Sophia, nice. Hi, so everyone. friendly faces. <laughs> That's, That's great. great. Awesome. Really? Thank you, guys. <laughs> so as everybody's coming in here today, let's go ahead and we'll get the chat kind of rolling, get everybody excited. Um, I feel like, and I don't know, Sarah and Manuel, if you feel this way, but I just feel like there's a new kind of positive energy happening that people are feeling optimistic and there's like good things on the horizon ahead. So for those yeah. of y'all in the chat, um, what's one thing that you're looking forward to? Something that you're excited about that's maybe coming up for you, maybe an exciting photo shoot um, or a visit from somebody you haven't seen in a long time. So feel free to share some of those comments of something you're looking forward to in the <laughs> comments section. But Sarah and Manuel, what's something you're looking forward to? Any any exciting plans in the works? Oh, uh, well, yes. We've been offered like two jobs jobs for video so we're actually very excited about that yes even though it's not really our expertise but we definitely want to get better at that hmm. so um it's yeah, really exciting new. but it's all it's everything is so new and exciting all the time to be honest um ever since you know um well we yeah, got together nowadays, our, it, it, every day is <laughs> a completely different story like <laughs> one yeah. day we're setting up a new business and <laughs> you never know <laughs> absolutely yeah it's just so unpredictable when you're starting a new business like what's gonna happen like you almost can't even plan some of it yeah. but uh, oh Asfana yes you can see the live later this will all be recorded so for those of you who are here with us here right now if you got to jump out we'll record all this and it'll be posted later at this same exact uh, link and oh Manuel or Manel says los mejores fondos in the world. Hola Manel. Oh, hello Manel. <laughs> so for those who don't know, uh, Manuel and Sarah, you all are located in Spain, yes? Yes, yes. we're best in Madrid. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. So that's why for the folks who are like, what is Fondos para Fotografos, those who speak uh, English, what, what does that translate to? It basically <laughs> means backdrops for photographers. <laughs> as easy as that. <laughs> right to yes. the point. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cut to the chase. <laughs> I love it. Well, we're going to take some time here today um, just to kind of lay down the groundwork for everybody who's hanging out with us. I want to dig into your story and share a little bit about um, the adventure that you've been on over the past year, as well as talk about backdrops and backdrops for food photography, because that is a specialty of yours. Um, and then we'll definitely save some time for Q&A at the end. So for those of you all who've got questions, just hang tight. We'll be sure to get to it at the end. Um, but one of the reasons that I was so, like, I wanted to do this now, we've been kind of talking about this for a long time and doing something together, but I specifically wanted to do this kind of right before I launched my 
my new book, which is coming out, yes. officially publishes on Tuesday, Picture Perfect Ooh. Food, right here. Yes. Uh, the reason <laughs> that I was so excited to talk to Manuel and Sarah because uh, it was like literally the day before I started shooting the book. Like I'd written the book and it was time to do the photography and a package showed up on my doorstep. <laughs> from you. It was that is so funny. <laughs> it was like timing. Timing is everything. And yeah. I opened it up. And for those of you who don't know, um, Fondos para Fotografos, they're just, they're beautiful. They're printed, which is, I mean, we'll get into kind of some of the specifics because I do kind of want to understand like what is the backdrop? Because the way that you all do it, it's, um, you know, thin and we can roll them up and they're easy to store, but like the character and the quality of them and the way that they communicate in images. And so I unrolled the backdrops that you sent me and there is this yellow one that just like inspired me so much. And I ended up actually shooting the entire chapter on lighting uh, that's inside of the book all with that backdrop because it just it so inspired me. So um, I thought that this would be the perfect way to kick off like the book extravaganza to celebrate <laughs> with y'all because you were a part of part of creating the book whether you knew it yeah. or not <laughs> oh my god this is such an honor you know <laughs> now the exactly. yellow backdrop which one is for the folks who go because i've got all the information i've got their instagram and their website linked below so for those of you who aren't familiar with um with their backdrops you can go check them out mm -hmm. link down below but the yellow one specifically which one is that y'all <laughs> well it's called almeria which Almeria? is a, a region, Almeria, exactly. Which is a southern area in Spain, where and it's really, really hot. You know, it's sort of a desertic area, and um, kind of like Phoenix, to be honest. I say that's <laughs> kind of perfect. I yeah. live in the desert, and it's always exactly. hot here, so it kind of was meant to be, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really, it, it was funny when you picked that one because it, yeah, the conditions are similar, and also you know. Um, uh, back in the day, they used to uh, shoot uh, all the American Western films uh, in Almeria in that area because it was um, because it was basically cheaper to to produce the the films there. And <laughs> so, That's so, funny. so yeah, it's kind of a, a, a oh, sort of a I mix. Think of, when I think of American. Almeria, <laughs> automatically I think of yellow just because it's so hot and, and then, actually yeah. so, someone mentioned in one of your comments the other day you, when you posted a picture someone um, mentioned I'm I'm from Almeria and I don't know if, if the post was in Spanish or English but um, that person said I'm from Almeria and actually the the, the sort of the, the key produce here is the tomato oh, and yes. and it's funny because and, and someone said that, so it was like, oh, it's even, you yeah, know. Yeah, a coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of incredible how inspiration kind of begets inspiration. You know, I find that when I have opportunities to work with other people, even if it's like in this sort of indirect method of like, you've created yes. this beautiful backdrop that's infused with this artistry and creativity, but then like, then taking that into my work and how that inspires me but how it's all still so connected that's just crazy yeah, <laughs> yeah it is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's beautiful <laughs> we're um, so looking forward to receive your book yes is, yes <laughs> it should start shipping for those folks who um, are here in the u.s and some folks i mean it's the shipping times are different i'm seeing all sorts of different things from different folks depending on where you purchased it for those who are outside the u.s it does look like bookdepository.com is shipping a little faster um, so if you haven't pre-ordered the book, that might be a good solution there. But uh, lots of questions. Oh, we don't hear you. Let's see. Oh, it looks like, um, uh, Sarah, when you talk, if you could just talk toward oh, okay. Manuel. Oh, okay. Hello. The microphone. <laughs> talk into the microphone. There we one, go. Perfect. Two, one, two. Oh, we, yeah, we, perfect. <laughs> okay, maybe we can hold it at these. So yeah, we thought sharing this, it would be fine. Perfect. But then... Maybe exactly. you might have to sit, sit like, no, we'll figure it out. Yeah. You guys sound All right. Great. Um, I can and whisper Tamari, and then you can talk the louder. The book is uh, Picture Perfect Food and all the links to pretty much everything we're referring to here today, including that yellow backdrop is all linked down the description box below here on YouTube. So uh, go check it out. All and also right. it's such an honor to be on the chapter of lighting because that's a huge, you know, that's a huge chapter is uh, and it's all about light really it's all all about all about the the lighting techniques and all the things that we've watched uh, through your videos and you know the way you you explain all the photography techniques and being on that chapter is really special for us so, oh. so well, thank, thank you, you. I yeah. thank you thank we're we're excited to to check the book and and you know continue learning from that <laughs> because we're always on the on um 
keep on learning, you know? Yeah. <laughs> We're Absolutely. always all learning. I mean, that's the best part of it. You know, I think I created a video that's going up next week. And, you know, I said, this is what I know so far. And who knows? I mean, that's what gets so exciting, too, is you think about where will we all be five years from now? You know, yeah. Yeah. If we continue down this path and continue working on the things we're working on. Like, wow, it's going to be incredible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so let's go back a little bit. Um to because you two you are a couple and you work together and you create together yes. and, so, and somehow you've survived a pandemic together yes <laughs> somehow, yes. somehow we've, we've survived that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. but have you it all of this started out of a passion for food photography and that's how we all connected first were you both into food and photography before you met or was that something that happened after you met well it was I, something happened after yeah. like uh, it was about eight years ago um funny enough we were both living in london and studying in london at the university at the same university but we never really got to meet each other in person um we connected through the university website um, i loved uh, sarah's portfolio she had an amazing <laughs> photography portfolio i loved it so so uh, i i connected with her uh, through facebook's message or something Okay. And we were supposed to do some sort of photo shoot or collaboration or something. But this is where people usually say, oh, yeah, collaborate. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know, things were complicated and we never really actually met. Um, yeah. And then, funny enough, six years later, um, we ran into each other on Tinder. <laughs> oh, no way. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and we were already in Spain, so it just makes sense to finally meet each other in person and have a, like a proper date. Yes. Um, and and yeah. see if we could collaborate. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, collaborate, and listen. Exactly. Right? And we started <laughs> collaborating. <laughs> That's amazing. You know, though, it's so funny how, you know, when when things are sort of meant to be, that they, they find a way of working yeah. themselves out. Yes, Absolutely. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And it sort of did. It, it sort of clicked because um, while well, she was running her photography business um, and she was already like established a uh, photographer and and I was working at that ad, ad agency, um, advertising agency. And but she invited me to work with her f in one shoot. So I went as an assistant and just uh, uh, we worked on, on artificial light and uh, uh, specific conditions. And we created one, one cool scene. And then uh, uh, Sarah shot like uh, a cool band, jazz band. And and after the, the job, we were like, oh, my God, this is this is amazing. This is like we've worked uh, together our entire lives. It was Yeah, we felt really perfect. comfortable. So it only makes sense that, yeah, we should probably do something, maybe not like a proper job or whatever, but we could probably have like a like a little project on the side, like a personal project. And then we started thinking like, okay, what, what do we really like? And what are we passionate about in life? And that was photography, uh, traveling and food. Yes. And then at first we decided, like, why don't we start a, a travel blog? Because, <laughs> yeah. you know, it was yeah, an excuse to make some travels, blah, blah, blah. But then we realized that we, by the time we were start making some money, it would probably take years. And we're, I'm not really good at writing. I don't really like writing anyway. Yeah. So, so business-wise, it wasn't, like, a, a great idea. It was more like sort of this... Uh, projection that it was an idea that could make us happy but it wasn't like so we we started thinking business wise we, we started thinking okay what would make sense uh, would uh, what um, could we take advantage of our skills and put them together in one in one basket and then work together and do something collaborative <laughs> and, yeah, and, I think and good that's such an important thing too you know to recognize kind of like you said Sarah that it's like important to recognize what you're not good at yes. <laughs> and what yeah. you and, and maybe or even things that you're good at but you don't enjoy yeah, um, yeah okay. because then when you're doing the things that you're good at and that you enjoy like the energy is just that much more potent like you can just get so yes. much further so much faster yeah um, when you're doing what you enjoy so how yeah. did you how did you kind of figure that out was it just sort of experimentation and trial and error well i, I guess we crossed traveling from the list of the three passions and then yes. we had photography and food <laughs> and by that time i remember um timing wise uh i, I already met you on, on youtube i mean just not personally or <laughs> the, the channel the, the yeah, bike shot. I already ran into your channel and I got really hooked 
And so I remember talking to Manuel about your channel. And, and she would show me things like, oh, the, look at this, um, you know, video. She only talks about this thing or this. Or we should try this or we should try that. So we were already experimenting with, uh, you and know, and, and learning. Very, he's very critical with YouTube channels, but <laughs> he immediately liked it as well. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah. So yeah, well, we became your, your fans and started trying. <laughs> yes, trying out. it's true. <laughs> it, and then, and yeah, it was, it was it. It was, it was a, uh, um, that what got us uh, into food photography and also um, the fact that we, we spent, um, well, that, that's 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 more about it. Sorry, I interrupted you. What, what were you gonna say? <laughs> oh no, no, you're good. I was just listening and enjoying what you're having to say. So, okay. but I, I mean, so obviously you fell in love with food photography and these disciplines and these skills, and um, you know, I think we can all relate to you know just having such a passion for this this industry. But clearly, something changed, right? Because I mean, you're still doing yeah. food photography. But yes. what suddenly shifted? Because now, I mean, what I know you for, and I'm sure a lot of the folks who are on here with us right now know you for, is your is your background. So yeah, yes, what, exactly. what precipitated that switch and that change? The pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Because <laughs> I mean, we one. connected first, it was about a year, like a little over a year ago, and you were yes. really working on your photography business. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, definitely. And actually, we kick-started our, our photography business uh, with the course that we did with you um and which uh, was at, um the summer of 19 uh, 2019 i think yes and then i remember by the time we were doing your course we uh we we gave it a go to make our own background yes and um and i remember one day that day hmm. uh, i thought this is fun. We should probably try this and sell them out or something. Yeah. But you know, that got in the back of our minds and we never We, we had it in a list, like, you know, make backdrops, maybe sell backdrops. Uh, ways to make money it was there. Something. And then and then when the pandemic arrived and we were in lockdown, we actually said, Okay, why why would you know why Yeah, let's let's give it a why go. Why not start painting all... and doing all crazy stuff in the apartment and buying materials? We we went to the you know, uh, uh, Home, the Home Depot, Depot uh, uh, in, in the version is fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Home Depot, Home Depot uh, store, uh, store here. here. Gotcha. It's got a bunch, a bunch of materials, and you started making back. a mess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was, yes, 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 right, right here. here. And it, was, it was perfect, perfect timing, timing for us because we had a all the time in our hands. hands. So, so we spent so, so much time painting and painting and painting. Because obviously we couldn't go out. Like nowadays. Sometimes, Sometimes we prefer, we prefer to shoot, like, like textures, textures that we, that we see, see in the streets, the streets like, like walls and, and or floors or something like that. I'm going to pause you for just a second. We've got an yes. echo going on. We've got some audio okay. issues. There's right. audio. Audio chaos has been my life as of late. A lot of echo. I'm going to come back on here. You don't yes. know what. Sorry, you guys. I just no, want to make sure the right. audio is better. Let's see. Is it better? Is it better? Oh, I can, I can, I can, we can you guys are good. Ever, it's me. It's it's me. Oh, All right. <laughs> that's better now. Whoa. Let's see. That's Let's better. See if I can fix this. Because like when you talk, I yes, think, sorry. I think people can't really hear you. Much. <laughs> um, yeah. This, this should be backwards because I'm the the one with the loud you guys voice. Are good. There's still yeah. <laughs> Is the echo real quick? Hold on, everybody. So it's on my side, but I'm quiet. Is what it sounds like. Let me try turning this up. All right. The, uh, here we go. Let's try this. How's this, yeah. everybody? Do I sound Is better? It better? Can you hear me now? Yes, it's good? Okay. Good. good. <laughs> the voice is low. The echo is gone. <laughs> okay, better now. Okay, I'll try to talk. I'll try, try to talk loudly. Let's see. My apologies, everybody. I don't know why the audio issues have been what they have been. Um, now the guests have an echo. Still soft, though. Okay. Hello, hello. Is it Okay, From us? is it better now? Okay, we'll just keep rolling. My apologies. All right. I think they can at least hear us all. So, okay, good. Um, darn technology. I'll try to speak louder as well. It, it's Quiet good, you know, time to restructure the thoughts. Okay, good. <laughs> good, good, good. All right, so getting back to, so pandemic hits, you guys yes. have been in the midst of setting up your business and getting ready to launch into that. Um, and then suddenly you're like, what do we got? We got nothing yeah. but spare yeah. time on our hands. So so let's exactly. And also no income. So it was really like harsh. Yeah, it was it was no income. Uh, all our um, 
uh, maybe three four months of work ahead we yeah. we had um, cancellations yeah, and everything got canceled like at that time i was doing also i was shooting music festivals as well and yeah. that all that got canceled so yeah. yeah it was it was pretty scary yeah but it's you know we're, we, we're used to that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, talk, I, I mean, I feel like, you know, whenever we start a creative venture, like there's a, there's a bit of risk involved. Like I yeah. have to think that when you had that moment and you're thinking, okay, I got to jump, I got to make this shift and change. And like, but you have to go buy materials. Like you're going yeah. to the, exactly. you know, the hardware store and you're buying the material. Like yeah. what's going through your mind? Like how, how do you follow that into, is it intuition? Is it, I mean, cause I feel like there's no proof that this backdrops thing is going to work. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, I think we, we didn't know it was going to work, but we had a feeling we had, and, and it was mutual and we, we had that feeling and, and we, and we, would talk to each other and say, you know, if one had doubts, the other one would say, you know, come on, this is going to work. And we would like yeah. us sort of a, you know, a personal both, coach to it was each great other. That both of us were in the same boat. Yes. Like if it yeah. was just me and maybe he had another job or something like that, maybe it just, we wouldn't have tried it out. No. But because we join our, both our forces and we just support each other and we just thought, why not? Let's yeah. just give it a go. If not, yeah. I mean, when you work for yourself, I think you need to get, you need to take some risks and just try it. Like, yeah. I'm always saying to everybody, like, we don't have kids, we don't have a mortgage, we don't really have like proper things to take care of. It's just us. So, yeah. what's the worst that can happen? You know, just try it. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But at least yeah. let's try it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, and try it, you did, because now here we are, you know, about a year later. The, yeah. What was the date that you officially launched the website? Because I remember you were doing that and you're getting all the shipping figured out yeah. on the back end and everything. That was so hard. The launch date, out. I don't know. I, we, we remember the first, uh, the, the date of the first backdrop we saw. Yeah. That was the yeah. 18th of may 18th of may 18th of and, may okay and yeah. and immediately the the moment that the the the, the email got, uh, the notification was oh, yeah when on, we received the notification that we somebody has bought some of our backdrops it, it said it said something like congratulations you've sold the backdrop and, and i started crying like a baby and it was like <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, our neighbor was like not too happy <laughs> <laughs> we were just like hugging and crying it was so 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 yeah, yeah it was great because yeah, you know wonderful. finally after like three months of testing out painting and painting somebody actually a lot of failure so it was all failure 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 so there was, there was one battle that we won you know yeah. they won, that one backdrop sold it was this is it we, so when you say that failure <laughs> like what were the failures you would say in the process well, well, money wise, <laughs> design wise, uh, like loads of materials. Of the, like, is there a particularly memorable bad design that you're like, oh, that the, did not work? The jello, the jello shot. <laughs> well, there was a, I, I do have <laughs> one in particular in my mind. <laughs> okay, go that ahead. It's like super pink and super white, like. <laughs> Oh. purple pink and white pink and white and oh yeah brushes, that like, design oh my terrible. god yeah that and then i thought right. okay maybe i can change it on photoshop like and i can you know just yeah. twist yeah. the hue situation no it didn't work out like i i tried to go <laughs> for blue or green but it's just didn't no, work luck. Out. <laughs> no <Yeah>. way <laughs> but you have oh my to kind of go through that process because i think you know like i've got a diy backdrops video on the channel and there's a lot of folks who will do one and they'll go Oh, that was no good and then they they kind of stop there right whereas yeah, yeah. like you, the, this is why it's also great to work with professional folks who do backgrounds because you've gone through that trial and error process that it's usually that first one it's like the you know they talk about the first pancake it never comes out right you got to make a yeah. couple until you get to that yeah. perfect pristine uh, one and really figure things out exactly and it's a good it's a good metaphor with the baking because um it takes a lot of practice um but it, it also takes good ingredients and i think in terms of the backdrops um uh, we got that by going um round and round uh, all the industrial uh plants around madrid um asking for providers to 
give you know to just test out uh, the materials and yeah. it, it took us a long time to find the right material because we were very picky we, we are photographers we want that for not just to create a business for practice we, we need to use them in our sessions yeah. so the thing is that we, yeah. we were very 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 specific about the material and all the providers were like oh but this is almost the same it's just it's, it's got a little texture but yeah, it, it just what doesn't it matter it's like it does it does matter you know <laughs> so and we were like does. extremely picky. i mean that's what's incredible because <laughs> i mean there's a lot of printed backdrops out there that exist in the world and and yeah there is like there is a difference you know one of the mm -hmm. things that your your backdrops is that 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 texture like there, there's technically no texture right it's printed yes exactly but, technically but the texture. texture comes through because of yes. is yeah. that is that the materials that it's printed on like I mean, mm -hmm. I'm sure this is like your magic voodoo secret sauce, right? <laughs> but like, no, it's well, I don't I don't think this this much to be secret honest, to it. We yeah. we realized that um, we can't really shoot uh, textures that are very like textury. I don't know what yeah. you're saying. Like they, they're very hard. Like let's say a, a wall, like three dimensional. They they like need to be some so somewhat flat. Uh, you know the textures. Yeah. Um, you, need, you need to find that sweet spot between texture and not so much texture because then it, it will look really fake especially yeah there are some for example we don't have bricks um like a brick wall we don't have that and and that is not it's not it's not coincidence it's like a brick wall has two levels um it's very dimen three dimensional so that that you know this the step between the the wall and the brick um, yeah. In a in a, um in one in in hours backdrop, so we we will find that it, it will look fake. So yeah. that's why we don't have it. Yeah, because yeah. even though if you if you try to shoot those textures uh, with the flat light, like let's say like a cloudy day or something, yeah, it doesn't matter. It, it's got a lot of texture. So mm. when you print it, it out in a sheet of paper, yeah, it just doesn't work it looks fake so yeah so we, in one hand is uh if sort of the material in the other hand is knowing your textures yeah. <laughs> and and then another thing is our our know-how um on photography in general because you need good photographs good editing um the whole process is is like very delicate even even how to scale up uh, or down the images uh, how to send them to the printer all that process is like, you, and also try it and error. <laughs> yeah, because you make the surface and then you photograph it to be printed. So then, yeah, all exactly. the technology to understand, yeah, that the resolution size and, you know, how that's going to communicate and appropriately photographing it too, you know, so yeah. that the lighting is appropriate and even, I mean, you've got a lot, you've got a lot to think about when you make a backdrop. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and also yeah. that's sort of, sort of the um, uh, technical side of the, of the backdrop business, but that's just one little side yeah. in comparison to all the things that you have to take care of in the business which is, yeah. you know, all the things to do with branding, marketing, you know, all, the, you know, a website, a, a shipping. So there are so many fields. I, we actually are not professionals and we didn't know how to yeah. do. And now... Yeah, but again, we didn't have much money to start the business. So we decided to, to design the web ourselves the, the best we could yeah. <laughs> and do everything ourselves. Like, oh, sorry. Um, the logo and all the branding was made by Manuel yes. and the website, we did it between the two of us and then we had to, uh, for the shipping worldwide, from the beginning we, we knew that we wanted to ship worldwide. worldwide yes. So we were so. reaching out every single company and they wouldn't believe in us because we didn't really have figures, they would ask like, how many shippings do you do per week? And we were yeah. like, well, none. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what on we're gonna be, we're gonna be great <laughs> yeah to trust us <laughs> I, look I at our product that though but you yeah. i mean it's a testament to the fact though that um how incredible it is in this day and age that the tools are available to make these things happen on your own that you don't yeah. need massive yeah. financial backing you don't need all this infrastructure that you can create a business you know mm -hmm. if if you get creative and scrappy and and tenacious like cuz i got to think yeah. that there were yeah. plenty of times in that process that 
you had to feel frustrated, yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. fire, fire. Oh, fire. <laughs> fire. <laughs> but then, you know. Yeah, because, you know, again, we, we spend a lot of time together, not yes. just as a couple, but as a, as a team and yeah. colleagues, everything. So we have to negotiate a lot. So, for example, the, the, <laughs> the yellow shot that I was uh, talking about uh, before, it was uh, a shoot that we programmed to... Uh, I think have a sample of one of our backdrops and we spent like 60 euros on food. Uh, we planned it for like a week and a half. It was so like, and, and then it was a mess. It was, we, oh, we got materials, terrible. we had like blocks and it was, you know, it was supposed to be this super mega creative shoot. And then it ended up being a, such a waste that by the end of the shoot, we actually thought, we let's, give let's give up, you know, let's, no. let's yes. <laughs> It was terrible. Like yes. at the beginning, we felt. I so go crazy. back being a waiter or whatever. Slide and this <laughs> everything, and then by the end of the day, we were knackered. We were so tired, and then yeah, we felt like that was it. Like <laughs> it is time to yeah, do then, something else. But then you sort of, you sort of, um, you know, next day you go to uh, Instagram uh, or YouTube or you watch one of your videos or you know you come across some something creative and you and you get and. Uh, and enthusiastic yeah, again, again for an idea or you know something that it could be it's not it, it's not there yet but it could be if you're working hard enough which so. is one of the good things of having a, a channel like yeah. yours or having the community on instagram like one of the greatest things that we realize about doing this business is because we really felt we really feel that we've done a community. I mean, like we're, 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 we're part, part, of, part, of, the part of the community. Sorry, yes. we didn't create it. We're part <laughs> of the community. And a funny thing is that we found it easier to get into it through our photograph, our backdrop co company, rather than as photographers. Because yeah. sometimes people might think that if you follow them, it's just because you know it's a little bit of a competition, or I want to just check on what you're doing to copy or whatever. But as a backdrops creators, I guess nobody felt the, the threat that <laughs> okay, these guys are cool. I mean, that could be it, <laughs> or it could be just yeah. because a service, um, you know, in comparison to a product, is different. You know, the way it translates to to the yeah, viewership. Um, so right now we are in a sweet position, to be honest, because. Um, in the in the sense of we are creating a product that we are very happy, we're very proud of. Um, it creates community with a lot of people that are super creative and are doing amazing things with them. Um, and also, it inspired us to do better food photo photographs, yeah. you know, and keep and keep that going because we learn a lot from the photography business, yeah. uh, not just the backdrop business. Yeah, because um, I see, I've got to think that's got to be a really cool moment when your backdrops <laughs> end up in people's hands and they they use them yeah. and they show you those photos. Oh, like in How a book, like by 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 Johnny Simon. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is crazy. It is, it is crazy. It is yeah, super it, nice. It, it, we still feel sometimes I have to pinch myself because yes. it feels like we're in a dream. Like it, it's yeah. It's been a tough year, but it's all been worth it. And um, we're we're one of the lucky ones that our families are healthy. That we didn't really have any any COVID any cases or, COVID or, yeah. or stuff like that. So we feel really, really thankful. And mm. to yeah. our to our community, it's yeah. they've been incredible with us. I, they they supported our project. They believed in us from the very beginning. And yeah, I feel, yeah, I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We, we have this little thank you note. I, I know a, a, a lot of business, maybe e-commerce is uh, maybe have this um, It's a little thank you note. And we have always, we, we, we write uh, by hand a sentence with, we, and we thank people. And some, some people have said, well, I, do you do them like each one of the, of the, of the orders you, you include one of these thank you notes done by hand. And it's true. We, it's a lot of time. We yeah. actually take the time to write down by hand thank you but i think it's important you know we think it's important it's important Definitely. because because we we feel very very thankful yes. yeah <laughs> well and i think about you know how do we translate this to folks who have a photography business you know they may not be selling backdrops but you know i think that one of those things that can really help your business is in that personal touch that this is a relationship like when somebody 
purchases through your website and yeah. that comes through on the end like it's Manuel and Sarah and then you want to <laughs> exactly. connect with those people and I think that um, you know the, the ways that what, however creative ways that we can infuse that into our own photography businesses too that that just helps to build that relationship and trust because I have to think too there's probably now at this point been folks who've ordered multiple times from you and probably <laughs> yeah. you've, you've yeah. built friendships there yeah yeah definitely yes. yeah oh and this there's that and there's also our collaborators um because yeah, people who have been willing to collaborate with us in exchange for a few backdrops and yeah another way of saying thanks to them is just we named some of our designs after them like for you for instance there is a backdrop called simon but also there is another, <laughs> another one called manel from our friends from addicted to hummus or yes. roberta from healthier cravings or salto for jose salto i'm just taking a chance to say hi to her <laughs> <laughs> or, or ines <laughs> yes a big shout out to yeah, to so ines mendes the man of from, um, um, what's what's the name of his Instagram profile? Um, now I forgot. Well, it, it will come up. But it, <laughs> this, um, all of our collaborators are are amazing because um, they also uh, tell us a lot of what we are not doing. So they 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 usually love our product, but it's the sort of relationship where they can say. It would be great if you did this mm. and then they have recommendations and they have what have you know. been some of those recommendations you have some examples you can think yes of? more wooden backdrops <laughs> for yeah, example or... now i gotta think the wood though has got to be hard because of what you kind of mentioned in terms of that texture what what yeah. do you have to do with the wood well and... i think it's, it's to do with the you know um yeah the planks being close to each other, not being at different levels. So yeah, it, sort of... it is tricky to find a, some good wood for backdrops. But I mean, I would suggest for those, I would recommend to shoot from either um, above or to use it as a wall. Because yeah, I mean, wood I is mean, one of those tricky ones. That as, shoot, as soon as you start shooting from an angle, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't yeah, but... work. You don't see but, that texture. Yeah. It is tricky, but people love love wood. Yes. And I will say the tile ones. Um, oh, looks like we're having connection issues. Is everybody still there? Um, I can see. You can see we're still there. Okay. Um, but the, like one of the ones that surprises me is your tile. I have a couple of the tile ones, yeah. and they do a great yes. job. Like it's still convincing, yeah. even we're shooting surprised. in three quarter. I mean, you don't want to necessarily yes. do the macro shots. Mm. Um, yes. But still being able to shoot, like I shot some margaritas recently on a, yeah. on one of the tile, and it looked beautiful. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. yeah was... Forty five angle is is nice. I yeah. think. Yeah, that's from our portable collection. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We managed to travel a little bit in last September to Portugal, which you know is our neighbor country, and we love it. And yeah, we decided to start shooting tiles because they're so beautiful. Yeah. And yeah, I think people love them as well. But in terms of you know people, when 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 you're looking at a texture, you want you want to look at the specific project and and how. To, how to convey feelings because at the end we are all trying to sort of convey feelings with our images and food photography it's all about it's very emotional and it's all you know food you know what is it's just food <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what else <laughs> so yeah um, how to create that fact... feeling of atmosphere and a time and place and, exactly. and feelings so the backdrop can really you know can really help that food um it's, uh, in terms of te tell a story, can help that food tell a story and create a scene that that conveys the right story. Um, so it's tricky to find the the right backdrop sometimes for your yeah. shoot. <laughs> well, and I I mean I know from my own personal experience, and I'm sure folks here in the chat with us right now can speak to this as well. That there's plenty of times that I'll be like planning a shoot and I'll be like this is going to be the perfect backdrop and then I start yeah. putting everything together and I'm like this is not the perfect backdrop for this. Yeah. And, like it's a great backdrop but it's not for this scene and so exactly. having the ability to have a library that you can pull from yeah. how many different backgrounds have you have you created in terms of styles at this point I think we reach around 75 oh yes. my goodness yeah, wow. yeah it's, it's getting to a point where we don't know where to fit more designs like we're still mm. doing our business from our apartment mm. uh which hopefully that's going to change soon but i don't know yeah. 
fingers crossed. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, I mean, so, are there yeah, ones we're that surrounded. Are, <laughs> yeah. Are there some that are more popular? Or are there some that you're like, oh, oh yeah, maybe we need to retire these? <laughs> yeah. That's... Uh, we have done it, to be honest, a few times. Um, um, yeah. Some of so... them needed to go a, a few months ago. And I think in a few days, we're going to need to say goodbye to some of them. Because again, we're we're bringing more wood to our collection, and um, and we have it re- we have it ready. So yeah. that's that's very exciting. <laughs> They're up already. By the way. <laughs> nice. So if we go yeah, to the website yeah. right now, we can see those. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, there are yeah. new new wooden uh, backdrops uh, yeah. already uh, uploaded to the website. And the, the, ready. the most the, the the favorite ones are probably the, the marble. There are, there are two marbles that, you know, one is the classic one with the black lines mm-hmm. and another one that is called Madrid. And yeah, Madrid is the first uh, texture that we photograph uh, from a Outside building wall. Outside our house. <laughs> and, oh, okay. And it was, yeah. due, uh, yes, and, and that has become one of the most popular backdrops. It's funny because it was the first one we, that we yeah. shot and it's called Madrid. Um, so it's very <laughs> it's representative very of us. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. I love the um, personal stories too that kind of go with each, there's so much thought and intention that, you know, yeah, even if people is... don't know that, that it's still infused with that story. Definitely, yes, we yeah. wanted like um, names that for us are strong and sound sound powerful and also have a story behind. Um, so we actually had a little sort of um, uh, list yeah, like here a list, like... Um, of names that are for, very significant for us, like Trinidad, yeah. Maika, Carmen, um, and Montserrat. Uh, all those names are the women in our family, our mothers. Like uh, Trinidad is my mom. Uh, Maika is his mom. Carmen is his sister. Yeah. Montserrat is my aunt. aunt. And and and, uh, and Alicia. And Alicia, my cousin. Yes. So those. And what do they all think of of this business? Oh, they love it. Oh, they all love it. They, <laughs> the, the first the first thing our, our friends and family say is like, oh, you know what could be a backdrop? And and study people say like, you know, the, the other day I saw this texture. You know, it's like grass or something. It's like. Uh, how do I tell them? Like, it's, it looks great. It's, yeah. It looks awesome. <laughs> it, it gets a little bit awkward because some people still don't get what we do for a living. Because, yes. yeah, when they point out at the grass and yeah. they tell us, oh, you should take a picture of the grass. And it's like, okay, they, they no. didn't understand. <laughs> I'm getting it. That's okay, though. That's okay. Yeah, yeah it yeah, is, yeah, it is yeah. so funny. I'm sure many folks on the call right now can relate uh to the same sort of feeling yeah. of like people don't really know what it is that they that i do mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. i love it i love it mm-hmm. so um let me see i want to make sure i got through because we had i had questions planned we've just kind of gone off and i think we actually covered most of what i wanted to make sure we talked about <laughs> but um are there unexpected ways that you've seen people use your backgrounds that you didn't anticipate we have seen people using our backdrops um, in 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 ways that we have thought that are very beautiful, gorgeous, um, and 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 really nailing that balance that we were talking before about you know when you shoot a a a dish that you love and and you surround your scene and then and then the backdrop the backdrop is there is acting as a sort of a reinform, reinforcement for the scene, but it's not really you know being the, the protagonist or, or, or the key element. Um, because, I, you know, at the end, it, we, we, we created the background. It's, you know, so, yeah. so I think yeah. uh, a lot of people do it. Um, and for me, it, it, it amazed me way. that we created this mainly for, for photographers, but now it's, it's broadened up a little bit and we're getting a lot of messages from jewelry designers or illustrators or, or people that they they have um, stationery or things like that. And or cosmetics or cosmetics yes. as well. And and I never expected they were they would actually need backdrops as well, but they do. So that's great. Yeah. And yeah, it, it, it's been it's been fun to see yes. our backdrops everywhere. <laughs> yeah. But it, but it's true, but it's true that we are sort of we're we're specialized on on food photography. So even yeah. though we. We, we, we like the idea of the product um, uh, photographs. Um, it's true that the, the, you know, the main focus and what we would like is, is to get really, really into the food photography scene. That's why uh, everything we create is, is, 
is very focused on that is on that direction yeah. um you just hmm. got to stay focused because i think that that's what you yeah that's that's what brought you to the party and that's what you've clearly proven you're excellent at. And so that's where you, I, yeah. I think that when we get into business and one of the pieces of advice I have for a lot of people is, you know, you get into this business and you see what's working and, but then maybe you like have these other ideas, right. And you're like, Oh, what about this? What about this? And that that can distract you from what, what's the best thing. You know, if you can, if you've got something that's working, double down on that, you know, cause yes. then that will only continue to exponentially yeah. uh, grow and expand. I think that's uh, that's exactly why um, we have sort of an insurance there because uh, at least that's the way we see it. Um, but we, we've mentioned to each other that we are our own target. Um, mm -hmm. So in the sense that when you have a business, you have to think of um, who uh, am I selling my product to? Uh, we're actually selling it to each other. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So... <laughs> So if I get if I get to Sarah to buy me a backdrop, then I, I'm good. I'm good to then go. You know, you know you're in because yeah, <laughs> exactly. you have that is the advantage too of having a partner in this situation that yeah. you have that sounding board and somebody to kind of check you on things. Yeah. yeah, and also in order to find new designs, sometimes it's from our our own need. Like okay, we listen that people requested more wood, but we love like stone or marble so i'm, I'm always on, on the hunt yes. for marble and <laughs> oh there's another shoot coming and we need and we need you know there's a client that has uh, has uh, asked us to to create something. exactly something specific for a shoot and mm -hmm. that that also happens um so there's a restaurant or you know a client a brand or something yeah, yeah. That's wonderful. I love it. Well, it's it's so exciting just to see how quickly you've been able to grow this business and connect with the community. And I, I have to wholeheartedly agree that, you know, this, this food photography community is so incredibly supportive and positive and helpful and that people are excited to see each other win. So it's it's clear that, that that's been your experience, too. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. yeah, yeah. So many good people. Well, I think at this point, let's go ahead and I'm going to open it up uh, for Q and A because I'm sure there's lots of good questions yeah. out there for how to uh, to use the backdrops or about building a business. Uh, Joe says that she just ordered Trinidad, so thank you, Joe. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> thank you. It. And Ricardo Bernardo says, "Hola, Sarah and Manuel." <laughs> oh, Roberta, Roberta, she's here. Um, she says the Ma Ciao, uh, Roberta. Ma Rosa and Ebro are her favorites. Yeah. Yes. Those are stone textures. Um, stone textures. So, yes. Um, and uh, we, we're, 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 we're very, actually, we're, we're very, um, we're very excited to have new designs um, with the, um, what was it? Oh, well, whatever, <laughs> whatever, yeah, whatever. So the, the stones definitely, I mean, I feel like stone too just really adds a lot of interesting character mm. uh, yes. for yeah, food yeah. photos. Christopher Moore has a question. According to the website, I see two sizes. Um, are they available in other sizes or custom sizes? Well, for now, we just have those sizes, mainly okay. because we don't really have much space here. So yeah. two sizes. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. But, Which are, um, what are the sizes? It's 60 by 90. Sorry, I only had no it in centimeters. Okay. I forgot yeah. in inches. <laughs> 60 yeah. by 90 and 80 by uh, 120. Yeah. So, so basically one of them is mainly uh, thought for shooting um, a simple scene with maybe one dish, two dishes, um, something like that. And then the bigger one is maybe can accommodate um, even a whole sort of table of people eating maybe four or six yeah. people uh, it could it could it could fit um yeah. something like this something bigger because I, yeah. I have both um and i find that i really like the well i call it the two by three um so I mm -hmm. think two feet by three feet is the 60 yeah. by 90 um mm -hmm. and to me like that's like my favorite size at least for the kind of work that i do for most tabletop photography because it fits nicely too onto my little you know my little table and everything like that so the big ones are pretty they're pretty sizable they're pretty so. big. Yeah. yes <laughs> Sometimes they're a little yeah. too big because then I'm like, oh, I got stuff hanging out over. The you got to have the right table for it. So it's great if you do need those larger scenes. But, hmm. um, you know, it's incredible what we can create. You know, I've got a yeah. friend who he's a portrait photographer and he was I was telling him that I was 
um, you know, having to bring some backdrops to a shoot. And he said, oh, well, you know, that's that's a lot of work. I was like, no, they're little. It's two by three feet. I and mean, it's amazing yeah. what we can create in such a little small space. He's like, oh, that's, yeah. that's a good point. I'm like, that's why I do food. I can't imagine big scenes. I like to keep it nice and little. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, and so folks are asking if the basic size works for most basic photo shoots. Yes, um, that is, and that's, mm -hmm. I mean, that 60 by 90 is pretty much all of the backgrounds that I have in my collection. Yeah. I've got some larger yeah. ones, but they don't get used as much because they're kind of a bit, they're a bit bigger, mm -hmm. so. I think for us, only in like two two occasions, we missed having a bigger, a bigger, a bigger option, one, yeah. Uh, yeah. but we normally use the smaller option. For example, um, to our restaurant shoots, we usually just carry um, a, a portable uh, plastic uh, uh, background sort of holder. Um, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the this is the one that we we ship uh, okay. to, um, and then the other one that I'm going to show you in a minute is the one that we actually uh, bring to our shoots. Yeah, um, we've got another a plastic one that is more sturdy, yeah. and um, I mean we don't sell it. Yet. <laughs> Yet. Yeah, I say it's all yes. the accessories that go along with it so that can start to become a part yeah. of it. Oh, so what is this? Yeah, I've not seen these before. Yeah, here you go. Yeah, so this one is very handy because, you know, you can... Of course, with, a, with a little logo oh, here. Oh, branding and everything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> cute. And it's got like a little strap and you can carry it everywhere. It's very, it was very handy. And and it's um, this, you you can actually... Um, yeah, you can make it... Make it uh, let's talk to me. and make it shorter. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's this, what you can use like, to transport them. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, if not, if not the original tube, it's fine. Um, yeah, I but see, the that's is that, what I use. Yeah, the yeah, original tube is fine. That's good enough. I just like the strap. Like, <laughs> like we're in the city, and sometimes you can just uh, um, put this in a shoulder and bring it in a in a, in a bike or a you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah. one of the questions is, do you need to stick them onto pieces of hardboard? I mean, I have my uh, opinion on that. Depending on what are you going to do. But um, I mean, if you're going to set them vertical, we suggest you can do that. But if you want to just lay them flat, you don't need to, to stick them to anything because the, they lay flat. They don't roll up again. Really. Yeah, the, ma the material stays uh, pretty much flat. So that's that's a good thing. That's why we chose this material because mm -hmm. um, we thought it was uh, a bit annoying to, to have the backdrops going like this um, yeah. and to have to have, to have them uh, uh, yeah, like stuck to the table. Mm. table. Yeah, when I yeah. open them up and then I just like, you know, as I'm getting ready for a shoot or planning things, I'll just unroll them and within like a couple minutes, they'll can be, be completely flat again. Like they might be just yeah. like, curled on the edges from being stored, but otherwise then they just flatten right out. So I've exactly. never had a problem with that. And and when I Good hang you know. it, you know, you can also hang them on the background. There's little clamps yeah, um, that you can just clamp them to a light stand and that's easy enough too. Let's see. Oh, we still there. There we go. So, uh, okay, let's see. Um, great to transport. Architect staple, Sylvia says, <laughs> as far as that rolled container. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So uh, Jennifer wants to know, what is the actual material of them? Is it vinyl? It's not canvas. Uh, no, it's definitely not canvas. It's it's some sort of vinyl. It's, it's plastic base. Um, I forgot the particular name, to be but, honest. <laughs> uh, it's not vinyl because vinyl is supposed to uh, um, it's yeah, supposed to, been, to have... If you say vinyl, it means that it's adhesive. Adhesive, like it's sticky. Uh, oh, adhesive. Maybe. Yep. Ad adhesive. adhesive. Yep. Okay. It's got stickiness on. It's like a sticker. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's a exactly. Vinyl. It's like a sticker. You can actually stick it uh, to something. It, it's but not. it's not. It's uh, it's just one sided. It's printed on one side only, and and it's sort of a uh, a it's not thick, but it's sort of a resistant plastic sheet. Um, yeah. And it's, it's got it's, a certain amount of like, yeah, it's not, it's not flimsy at all. And it's not like a shower curtain, you know, cause there are certainly ones that I've purchased out there that are a little bit like wobbly kind of like that, but these yeah. are a little, yeah. like they're not rigid, but they've just got a certain amount of <laughs> firmness to them. They hold up well. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> um, let's good see what Friday. other questions. Um, is it matte, gloss, or luster? I would say they're so all matte. It's, 
it, they are matte. Yes. But obviously, because they're printed, the the ink itself. We've been told that the ink itself has got it's got it's yeah, on it, it, shine. So depending on the angle and depending on the background, like that ones are a bit more tricky with with shiny bits. Uh, but so we actually created a um, a blog article on how to shoot on dark backdrops uh, because it's something that uh, people struggle with, um, um, and I think it's very useful to just mm, know a couple of tricks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're very simple tricks, and, and you can fix that. But um, but yeah, uh, where can we find that blog post? Is that on your website? Yes, yeah. uh, we the, just realized there is a little uh, like literally. <laughs> this is this is what happens with this sort of businesses. Um, we we're, we're gonna tell a little ourselves. anecdote. <laughs> we just realized today that the link is broken to that post <laughs> because because they never link it very soon. Because the internet the internet provider um, makes changes to the website, and this is um, you know like general changes to the website. Some some the, suddenly the English version of the website can be. Uh, automatically translated so the blog just went away automatically oh, it just the the english blog went away the english the spanish blog is still there so okay. thankfully thankfully we've got a copy so so exactly just, uh, it's um, gonna it, be easy to repost we'll today. try to do it tomorrow then <laughs> but well, it, if it we will can, be on i mean for anybody who's on here and wants those tricks because there's definitely like you said some helpful strategies because the darker ones are harder if you're shooting it backlit yes. or you're you know navigating different lighting that yeah. um for those folks who are following you on instagram i'm sure you'll post that on your instagram yeah yeah, it's yes. on our bio. If you yes. click on that, you get a list of, of posts and one of them is that. So and it's also and it's also on, on our story highlights um and under blog um is there yeah. as well. Excellent. Mm. Another question, uh Miguel wants to know if something spills, can you clean them without the ink running or damaging it? Uh, it depends. We oh. we we now need to say this because <laughs> um it turns out people 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 spell some 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 funny things in uh, to the backdrops. We like to say they're resistant <laughs> to non-aggressive uh, abrasive uh, abrasive or yes. Um, um, so they're water resistant and they are resistant to many organic liquids. Let's yes. say, but obviously, okay. as soon as you put some chemicals into it, like um, some creams or some lotions or something like that. Hmm. We cannot promise that they're yeah. they're going to be resistant to that because obviously we're not able to test every single cosmetic um, product sure. or every single oh, yes. piece of uh, sauce or anything like that. But um, so far, don't we can say turmeric. don't use turmeric. <laughs> Turmeric is don't use turmeric on it. No, forbidden. I mean, turmeric stains everything. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but apparently, some you know, um, it, so it stains know the backdrop. For folks who are doing curries and things like that, yes. to be mindful yeah. and to be extra careful, as I'm sure they already are for like real surfaces and things like that too. Yes. Um, you know, just be mindful. But yeah, I mean, I made a huge mess on one a couple weeks ago um, with some beverage work and it cleaned up just fine no problem yeah. if you just like juice uh, tomato sauce um i don't know anything uh, you can think Honey, of uh, some yeah oil, oil uh, vinegar you know, or standard stuff all the things all those things we have tried and it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> oh john john finn photography says if you can't put it in your eye don't put it on the backdrop <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <a> <laughs> i like that one <laughs> i like that <laughs> that's yes. great John's coming in with coming in hot with the good recommendations. I love it. Well, we yeah. have kept you for a good long time, and I just appreciate so much your uh, generosity of sharing your experience and your story and all your expertise on backdrops. I mean, definitely helps me in thinking about too just the the backdrops that I purchase and what's going to yeah. work and what's not going to work. And I appreciate. Uh, y'all fearlessly showing up in this space because I know that there's so <laughs> many people who love your backdrops and are so thankful that how you help to support all of our photography. So thank you for that. And uh, <laughs> for sure, for those of you who are not currently following, be sure to follow Sarah 
and Manuel. You've got all the links down in the description box below, or if you're on LinkedIn, I think it's all above, but go check out their website, check out their whole gallery of all their different options of backdrops. Um, I'm sure if you've got questions, you can hit them up and they'll be happy to happy to help you out yeah, picking the right ones for you. Mm -hmm. um, yes, but thank you everybody too well, for showing up here today. We had we had a great group and I just really appreciate everybody's time and for being so supportive. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> yes, so what can we be looking forward to from you, Sarah and Manuel in the future? What, what should we keep our eyes peeled for? We've got blog posts, we've got more tile and wood coming, anything else? Yes, exactly. Well, in the next couple of months, we're gonna be launching a new website, like finally made by professionals. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> that's hopefully that's going to be run much better. It's going to be easier, especially for guys overseas. That, um, we've got some issues with taxes and stuff yes. like that. So everything and is going to be more... Simple. All regarding um, bills and, you know, the um, finances of the website, uh, all yeah. the trick bits, um, that's supposed to, yeah, it's, it's going to go, it's going be better. Major respect for anybody who, like sells physical products that's just yeah. I, that blows my mind the amount of work that that's got to be is, so thank, thank you, you. <laughs> and, 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 uh, and content and i think it's uh, all about content and you know and creating the you know all the best possible content for you know for people that uh, need to use the backdrops and and want to wants to learn how to how to use them and, and experiment and try and create yeah. <laughs> Well, okay. and yeah. if those of you who all have picked up backdrops today or you work with uh, Fondos para Photographos already, um, definitely tag on Instagram, share it with us yeah, all. We'd love I'd to love see. to see as well. So, <laughs> definitely. Well, thank you, Johnny. It's been such a pleasure. Thank you so much for this opportunity. It's been it's been great. I, yes, I mean, we've been much. waiting for this for this day like <laughs> months already. So. Can't believe it's gone already. <laughs> I know and, it was so much fun. <laughs> yeah, and and again, I really want to thank all the community and every every one of you guys who've been um, very very supportive all the time. And yeah, we really need it because you know there is not very happy all the time. Like it, gets, it can get really tricky sometimes. So so yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I love it. Well, to everyone take care of yourselves go out there and do something creative today and we will see you on the internet so take care yeah. everyone <laughs>